Well, the new desk setup is still causing me grief because I keep forgetting to move my microphone because I can't leave it in front of my desk. So I have it off to the side and I have to reposition it every time I record. And I think every time I have to record, I forget. So we're going to have to play this episode by ear because I've already recorded it, realized it was shit. So I'm going to have to redo it on the fly. All right. Well, let's get into it. We've got some transfer business to look at, uh, some new players coming in spur of the moment. And we have a Dutch Cup quarterfinal today against VVV Venlo. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 62 of our Climbing the Ladder Save. Football Manager 21, please don't forget, if you like what I'm doing here, hit that like button on this video, helps more people see it, and subscribe for daily Football Manager content here on the channel Monday through Saturday. Let's take a quick look since last episode. Uh, we had a trio of league matches, a 4-2 defeat to PSV, Ronnie Ebers and Martin Vanderhorst with the goals in that one. A 2-1 victory over AZ. We gave up a penalty to Christian Garcia. It was Resnick and the newcomer, Ruben Jansen, getting his first goal for the club. And then a 3-1 defeat to FC20, Samal Demir with the lone goal. Taking a look at transfer business. As we mentioned earlier, we had the big $83 million sale of star center back Melvin Gerver. Cho Young Hwan goes off on loan, and Dylan Swartz had gone off to Sarang FC on loan. We also, at the transfer deadline, sold young winger Johan Case to Guincamp for $1.2 million. He's 17 years old and uh, four and a half star potential, but honestly, didn't see him breaking into the squad and didn't see enough improvement from him. But it's players like him that have given me an idea for a future save, whether that sees the light of day in FM21 or we wait till FM22. We'll have to wait and see. We also sold another youngster in Ludinho Marcella for $2.2 million to Telstar, 21-year-old center back. And again, very similar to Case. Very good potential. You know, he had much better potential. He's dropped down to three-star potential. But this was a guy I thought that we could have in our squad about three seasons ago and just never, ever developed. So we move them out for a little bit of money. We bring in about uh, $3.5 million from those two. Uh, but, of course, the big signing in Gerver for $83 million. Uh, a lot of these other guys you had already seen. Uh, we've renamed uh, uh, Kisep, uh, Kispy to Kispy Queen. Uh, he comes from River Plate, so you've already seen these guys early in the month. Uh, but coming in at the transfer window, uh, we brought in a couple of loan players. Paulo Vitor from Borussia Mladenovic. Uh, he comes in on loan. He is a six-two center back, and we needed some depth and a new starter with Gerver's departure. And I think Vitor is uh, possibly the backup in this role. Not bad, not bad at all. A lot of upside, but he's a loanee. Uh, David Gerby from Sparta comes in on loan. He is a striker, number 10, and right winger. He's just going to be a reserve for us, just some depth. We brought in Ruben Jansen from Sparta, $10.5 million. So we will definitely take a look at him. He's a number 10. He can also drop back and play the central mid. Only three star, but he is 22 years old. He is Dutch, and uh, he came up through the Sparta system. So a big signing to get him for ten and a half million. Not you know not the greatest player, but he's got some he's got some skill. And you have to remember, just because he's three star doesn't mean he's not good. He's just three star in relation to some of the five stars that we do have on the club currently. Pretty good physicals, very good passing and technique, work rates there. Uh, so I like a lot of his skills, great first touch. And you can see 23 matches, 
two goals, seven assists. Now that's playing with Sparta and with us as well in a couple of matches since coming over. And the big signing from Anderlecht for $43.5 million, which was his release clause, is Mohamed Kara. Uh, he is our new number one goalkeeper. Four starts. He's allowed 13 goals. You know, he's four-star ability. He's learning the language. First starts, and you saw the run-in. All of those clubs are, are top six in the Arita VC. All of them were above us. So, and FC 20 was number two in the table. So, you know, I'm not going to hang him out to dry, but yeah, we're just, you know, he's, he's struggling to find his footing, but he is our new number one. Very, very good. And if we compare him with Kevin Kaiser, uh, shot stoppings equal, distributions equal, but everything else he is a little bit or a lot better at. So... He's a little taller, a little heavier. Uh, he can use both feet rather than only, only right-footed. So I think that gives him a little bit of a leg up there. No pun intended. But um, yeah, so there's our new goalkeeper. So we've seen the matches. Let's get into the Dutch Cup against VVV Venlo. So as I mentioned, I had already recorded this match. But we have not, uh, yeah, the audio was real bad, so I'm having to re-record it. So we're going to watch the extended highlights on this one. There was a nice through ball to Ronnie Ebers. He scores it. That's number 20 on the season for him. one nothing advantage to DeGroff shot. 14th minute, an in-ball to Mole. He crosses it in, and a big save by Kara. It was really nice to see that save because, again, he had conceded a lot of goals in those three league matches, and we really wanted to see something, and that showed some possibility for him. Evers, similar situation down at the other end, sets up a corner that nothing came from. In stoppage time here in the first half, it's Foldy. Cervenka into Resnick. He, get, he gets it past the keeper, and that gave us a 2-0 advantage going in at the half. Not too deep into the second half, a set-piece goal. Dimitrovich got his first goal of the season, and that made it a 3-0 advantage to the Super Farmers. And then DeVos, Cervenka tackled away. The clearance was blocked. Jansen had a shot at it, but it was deflected out for a corner. 63rd minute, Grutunk, Dmitrovic, Momsilovic, Jansen, Ebers to Resnick. Blocked away, blocked away again, and then cleared out. We did get a penalty. Momsilovic drew the penalty, stepped up to take the penalty shot in the 85th minute. 36 shots, 12 on target, a huge win for the Super Farmers in that. We would then we would get $1.08 million, and in the draw, we would draw Heronveen in the semis, and that would leave PSV and Fortuna Sitard squaring off against each other in the other semifinals. So for us to defend our Dutch Cup championship from last year, we are going to have to get past the number one club in the Netherlands. We would actually lose 5-1 to one to Feyenoord. Jan de Vos with the only goal for us in that slaughter, and that drops us into eighth position, and we are now nine points out of Europe qualifying in the league. We're still on track to finish top half, but not looking good to get back into Europe with this recent run of form. But you can see FC 20 in second, PSV in fourth, Feyenoord in fifth, AZ in seventh. All the clubs that we've lost to or played here in the last four, all above us in the table. And we are certainly showing that we are lacking when it comes to competing with those top clubs. We want to go ahead and uh, we're going to play Bayern today on camera since this kind of got condensed. 
and I had to redo the quarterfinal, but a big win there. So let's come back for Bayern in just a second. Talk about a great game for Matthew Viator. 47 passes completed, a 100% pass ratio for our new center back. And a uh, great game for him as we beat Breda 2-0. That moves us up into seventh position, although AZ do have a game in hand, as does Willem 2. But we are setting our sights to Bayern Munich in three days, so let's get up to that. We're going to rotate just a little bit here. Unfortunately, because I don't have enough homegrown players, I had to leave some registration slots open. And you can see some of our top players, three of our top five center backs, all of our new ones, are unregistered for this stage. So we are going with Kaisela, the veteran, with 17 appearances will be starting today. So we're going with Kara in goal, a back three of Dimitrovic, Kurdov, and Kaisela, Cervenka, Jansen, Momsilovic, and Demir in the mid. Babel will get his debut, and Ebers and Kernjik up top. Babel getting the debut in Champions League knockout against Bayern Munich. How crazy. Not expecting a whole lot here. Of course, we weren't expecting a whole lot in the group stage either, and we stunned the world. Ebers makes a move. Oh, he tried to pass it through. That was not good. Intercepted by Kernjik, and it's in. Oh, my God. Ronnie Ebers had a shot. Mayasi with a big save. Oh, we were looking at a 1-0 advantage. Oh, that would have been huge. That one's headed out. Demir's on to it. We are looking solid here in the early going. Knocked away. We'll have another corner. Come on, boys. Pull the upset. Near post. Nothing there. Demir's back out to it. Brings it around. Yeah, don't like that. Come on. Come on. We have got to make our chances count when we get those like that. Oh, my goodness. All right, a good header out. Babble running around. Oh, what a stab by Cervenka. Good defensive effort. Come on. Oh, intercepted. It's up. Evers is on to it. Can he finish? Oh, he gets two, three tries, third time's the charm for Ronnie Evers, and he does a hands-free cartwheel. Oh, that was huge. Good ball through the middle by uh, Demir. One, two, it's the third time. Mayasi laying flat on the ground, and Evers. Oh, and we have taken a 1-0 lead. Let's give them praise here in the early going. We're inside 20 minutes. Oh, my. I don't, yeah. I'm just not sure what to even do here. Kaisela. Oh, Broad was left wide open in the middle. And he makes us pay. And a quick equalizer from Bayern Munich. Yeah, Kurdov just... Well, that was Dimitrovich's guy. Kaisela was out on his guy. But yeah, we need to all be packed into the middle there. Mm, come on. I am I am really amazed we even scored the goal. Oh, look at that ball. Oh, Kara, you've got to do better than that. You hit it with your hands. It's like he punched it into the, his own net. Is he going to get an own goal? Yeah, now we come with the late praise. That wasn't good. I want to watch that again because, yeah, that was poor. That was poor. 
We come right back with a kickoff highlight. That could be good or bad. Normally, I would be encouraged here. Demir beats his man, stays on his feet. Jansen takes a crack. Mayasi with the save. That was a good effort. I'm just kind of watching six fives. Babel doesn't have the pace to catch up to Wahab, and he is on a break, but we have men back. They've got a big crowd running up to support, though. Uh, we are going to demand more. I mean, they need to do better. They need to do better. We've had 12 shots. We both had five on target, and it's Momsilovich down with a potential knee injury. Hmm, that's going to hurt. All right, we're going to bring... Um, Nagy hasn't played a lot for us. But, you know, he's got skill. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring Nagy on. Two minutes of stoppage time. We're into the third minute of stoppage time. I don't even think the ball came in. Or maybe it just drifted right down the line. And we look in trouble here. Oh, boy. Saved and cleared away. All right, good defense. Kaisela, can we sneak something here? Boy, if we could sneak a goal, that would be great. It's there. It's a shot. Oh, and it just goes wide. Oh, that would have been a huge effort. A huge effort. I don't think any of you have played. Well, they're nervous from that. That's not good. All right, you know what? We are going to do an early sub. I should have done it right at the half. We've got a potential injury. Oh, geez. I've already had to make one injury sub. I'm going to bring in Fournier. All right. Headed out. Uh, Demir can't control it. We force him to slow it up, but then they break through real quick. And a good stab away by Jansen to knock it out for a corner. All right, there's our sub. Cervenka off. Fournier on. We've used two of our subs. Demir's on it, and nothing transpires from that. That looked like a good chance. That one goes over. Thought maybe Kara got a finger on it, but it didn't. So it'll be a goal kick. We're pretty evenly matched here. 157 to 161. You gotta be happy with that, right? Let's uh let's encourage him again. Demir's tired. Let's go ahead and sub him off. It's a little early. We'll bring on Jazvich for him. And they're gonna take another corner. What a save there by Kara. Very aggressive going out to snag that ball. There's Jazvich. It's through. Evers is there, and he should have went to the keeper's right. Oh, I think he would have scored had he gone across him. Instead, he tries to go near post, and it was saved away. Kernjik has to make a run. Can he get there? He does. We lump it all the way back to Kara. All right, we're going to... Uh, no, nope, nothing going on yet. A flick on header. It's Kernjik. Evers comes through. He takes another crack, and it's knocked over. We'll have a corner. Another attempt. Come on. Nagy. Near post. Nothing. Babel. Into the box. He's taken down. No foul. Come on. This has been really evenly matched. We've got the better XG. I'm really impressed with how they've played. All right, he just lumped it back to the goal. Uh, let's demand more. No, we should have done better there. Nagy's on it, though. Can he find a runner? There it is. It's shot. It's in. It's Ishan Babel, and it's his first goal of his career with the club. 
Oh my god, a clinical counterattack, and we have equalized at two. Now, of course, that gives them two away goals. Oh, Babel, what a finish by the youngster. What a finish by the youngster. Three minutes of stoppage. No, don't let them win here. Knocked away. It will be a corner. Hang tight, guys. That one goes over. We'll have the goal kick, and that should be enough for us to sit here and pull away with the draw. And I've got to call that a victory, guys. I have got to call that a victory. And there we go, a 2-2 draw against Bayern Munich. 20-18, 8-8. We had the better XG. Guys, I'm, I'm ecstatic with that. Uh, we are going to outstretch the arms. What a comeback. Keep them motivated. They've got to be happy with that. Man City beats Heronveen. 3-0. So, yes, we come out looking great. That's going to be bad. Momsilovich out for seven weeks. Wow, wow. And Cervenka out for 11 days. All right, we're going to come back. Uh, so next match will be a double header. We'll play Heronveen in the Dutch Cup semis, and then we will play Bayern in the away leg and see if we can sneak through with another stunner. Got to be happy with the results today. Give me a like for that. What a comeback by the boys. Remember to subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel. And we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.